Okay, I'm gonna show you briefly how to use the cursors. Right now I'm setting a voltage pulse of one volt into an RC circuit and I'm measuring the voltage across the capacitor. So you can see that it charges up to one volt and then it discharges. And if I were to want to measure, say, how long it takes to charge from, or to discharge from one volt to, say, 200 millivolts, which is this point right here, then I can use my cursors, click on cursors, to get that measurement. If you go to mode, make sure it's on manual, and then you'll have a variety of options here, X1, X2, Y1, Y2, and then the linked ones. Let's go to X1. So take the f your first cursor, your X cursor, as you can imagine, you want to move that to the top, so where you're measuring first. In this case, it's where it's where our signal reaches one volt. So put it on the top. Okay, right there. And then I'm going to take my second cursor, which is X2. and move that to that point, to that 200 millivolt point. And you can tell then by doing that that it's about 400 nanoseconds. You can also use this if you go to track there's another kind of cool trick that I'll show you just real fast. But if you go to, to track waveform, that it'll give you your X and your Y coordinates. And so as you move, as you link them, as you link your X and your Y, you'll be able to move your graph move your coordinates and as you notice your y coordinates that correspond with your x coordinates and your graph where they intersect will be mapped out for you and their values are given like right here and so you can easily find the slope of this you can just take really accurate measurements and precise measurements by using your cursors